having grown up in the company, had a pretty good sense of the company. Yeah. And while from the outside looking in, it looked like we we're in a really, really bad place. Yeah. And so what we did was we sat down and we said, okay, now every time you have to make a decision, every time you sift through some level of information, or you have to try and think about how to move some initiative forward, ask yourself this question first. Is this good for the player? 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 No! EA, an organization so anti-consumer, they've been awarded the prestigious title of worst company in America twice. And after their latest butt fumble, they'll probably win it a third time. Yes, of course I'm talking about the Reddit fiasco. Now if you're not up to speed on that, let me give you a quick rundown before we get into it. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had an early launch through EA Access, so gamers have been playing the full game since November 9th. During this period, Redditor by the name of The Hotter Potato posted statistics, math, and analysis showing that it would take 40 hours worth of gameplay to unlock a hero like Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker. Mind you, pure gameplay, not including loading or waiting in the menus. So naturally, this got a lot of upvotes. And another user made a post complaining about this. EA responded with some PR bullshit that justified the 40 plus hour grind. It backfired and has become the most downvoted comment in the site's history, sitting at 681,000 downvotes at the time of recording this. And now, the blowback is threatening to engulf our entire planet. Keep in mind, Reddit is the 8th most visited website in the world, so this is a huge freaking deal. Now you would think, you would, you would think that being such a hated company, being absolutely lampooned by the gaming community when an organization like BP or Bank of America has a better reputation than EA, you would think they do some serious goddamn self-reflection on their identity. You would think being voted worst company in America twice would be enough for EA to realize their wrongdoings and make some serious changes to the way they operate. In fact, it actually looked like they were doing that at one point. An EA executive said, Maybe there's a kernel of truth to this award. Maybe this is a moment we can step back, look in the mirror, look at who we are, look at how we're perceived, and figure out what we need to do to do something about it. Wow, that sounds like some serious self-reflecting. It seemed like EA was doing a complete overhaul. They had come out saying they would make an effort to become a player-first company. During one of their meetings discussing what type of experiences they want to make, the most important words ever to come out of an EA employee's mouth is this. And that's the moment we all stop and think. It's not about revenue, it's not about what benefits EA. But if you thought any of this was a reasonable thing to do, if you thought EA was serious about becoming a player first company, you've just been punked, bitch. So I can't say I'm shocked when EA defends a depraved manipulative in-game microtransaction system. But what I will say is, I won't get fooled again. And neither should you. EA has sunk to a new low with this, not imaginable to mere mortals. Their powers of shit rival that of a Super Saiyan 3. They've gone even further beyond what was previously thought to be ground zero. And now I'm going to explain in fabulous, sweet, juicy detail why this fiasco and everything surrounding it proves they are the worst company in America again. From their shitty designs, to their deception and lies, how they're still manipulating you with their pathetic damage control methods. First off, the fact that they even thought locking characters like Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader away from players at launch and saying it's meant to be a moment of pride and accomplishment when you unlock them, despite being playable with no cost in their previous game, is so moronic I think you could find better logic in a flat earth theory. Second, and this is very important, EA was planning on implementing this system in the final game, and they justified it in front of everyone roughly a week before the game's full retail release, only to turn tail when the backlash started to hit. 
It's like when you get caught trying to poop in the urinal because your buddy offered you five bucks or dared you, and now you gotta save face even though everyone at school knows you were going to poop in the urinal. It doesn't matter if you offer to clean every single toilet as punishment, you still tried to poop in the urinal. I say this because the motivation for the decisions of this company is what's important. They didn't see anything wrong with this system until you did. Third, I want to draw your attention to this detailed post predicting what EA's PR strategy would be. It's long and definitely worth the read, links in the description, but here's a summary. EA knows they fucked up, so they're going to use a technique that flaunts Changes. Oh, changes are coming, guys. Hey, hey, look, we got changes over here. Oh, look, look at us. Hey, got your changes over here. Changes. And they're doing this to make the outrage outdated. It's a strategy used for scandals that are linked to financials. They will fuck you a little less than you expected and hope that wins you over. But they still intend to fuck you. Fourth and most significant, any changes they make are a moot point because bottom line is the game will still have monetized gameplay advantages. And if they wanted to be a player first company, like they fucking said they did, is this good for the player? EA wouldn't have created this exploitive clusterfuck system in the first place. These loot boxes and the progression system is rotten to the core. It's a shit foundation they built their game upon. And no change aside from a complete remodel is going to fix it, and there's not enough time. Even though they've changed the prices of the heroes in-game, the cost of heroes does not change the pay-to-win multiplayer economy. And a fifth point to add some context to this whole scenario, EA was lying about the loot box changes prior to this whole fiasco, specifically in regards to duplicates. But this is just the tip of the loot box. In fact, on the same subreddit that led to this scandal, EA was caught bribing the mods back when the first Battlefront was coming out, and the mods that accepted those bribes are no longer moderating. This means EA was effectively controlling what people were saying about their game on the 8th most popular website in the world. Fucking scum. You're the dirt under my boot, EA. You're the Lego that people step on. I'd rather shove eight dicks in my mouth all at once than buy this piece of shit game from your sleazy ass business model. So the community manager of EA, who is still working there, was banned because he was the one offering the bribes, and then had the gall to lie about it even though there was unmistakable proof. Which is why it's so fucking sweet that the mods during this fiasco are giving free reign to the community and there is no signs of censorship, as far as I've seen. If they had continued to take the bribes, we'd still be getting fucked by EA, and Reddit would not be a place to congregate to vent our frustrations. They would have controlled and corralled this criticism to make it a non-issue. But EA's manipulation doesn't end there. They've brought up the fact that they've gotten death threats in what appears to be a Brianna Wu-esque strategy to garner sympathy. Don't get distracted by this. Death threats are stupid, we all know that. Nobody deserves them, but these people, as far as I've seen, haven't posted evidence of this. It's a red herring to distract you from the real issue. Don't fall for it. This is EA, remember? Also, there's been an update since I've been editing the rest of this video, but apparently, the death threats are confirmed fake. Yep, the guy who claimed he was getting them and working for EA actually doesn't. He's gone radio silent, locked his Twitter account, and removed any mention of EA in his bio. So, yeah, don't get distracted by this shit. And there's a Kotaku article that blows the lid off this whole thing. Sure, there is no more season pass, but guess what? All the free DLC is shit you're gonna have to buy with in-game credits, but <coughs> loot boxes will help you get it faster. <laughs> that's fucking shady. That's, that's the epitome of shady. Masquerading the absence of a season's pass as beneficial to players when in actuality, EA is using it to promote loot box sales. Oh yeah, future DLC characters might cost even more. Fucking pathetic. Also, keep in mind, DICE is 100% owned by EA, so this is a collaborative failure for both companies. Not to mention your progression in the game with credits is tied solely to time played. You get no increase for a great performance, meaning you could capture every objective, go 99 and 0, and still get the same amount of credits 
as the guy who used a bot to farm them. The rabbit hole runs so deep into this. I mean, they are trying so hard to manage community relations, but keep the thing the community hates in the game, and they can't fucking balance it. It really shows how much of a liability loot boxes are becoming, and that's exactly what we want. Give the game so much bad press for having these shitty, game-altering microtransactions that future companies are dissuaded from doing the same. The Battlefront subreddit has gained well over 20,000 subscribers in two days, and they've also memed their front page. Instead of subscribers, it says armchair developers, which is making fun of a tweet, again, EA's community manager had posted. The same manager caught giving bribes to the previous mods I mentioned. He makes light of the issues that the consumers have with this game. And that's a bold strategy, Cotton, to insult your fan base. But he works for EA, so they're probably required to do that. The entire subreddit is filled with hundreds, if not thousands of posts condemning EA, filled with jokes at their expense. A seething contempt for Electronic Arts and Star Wars Battlefront 2 is all that exists there at this moment. Here's a post with 6,500 upvotes telling others to email Disney's video game department. This one shows EA's stock going down. Also, there's a new subreddit. I think I might subscribe. It's called EA Sucks Ass. Tell how your story of hating EA started. Oh my god. <laughs> 34,000 upvotes that leads to a link where you can cancel your pre-order. I also like this comment. EA must have massive balls to think that grinding 40 plus hours for a character is fine, but they can't even make a campaign that lasts more than 8 hours. Fucking got em, dude. Here's one saying, EA is the worst thing to happen to Star Wars. I 100% agree with this. EA's reputation has sunk lower than possible and it's only going to dive further into the darkness below. By far the best is this. EA's dev response now has enough downvotes to play as Darth Vader. Fucking clowning. In fact, they probably have enough downvotes to play as all the heroes, which before would have costed 60,000 credits. If you think for one second any of this is going to change EA's priorities, you are sadly mistaken. They're trying to manipulate the headlines with news of these changes, news of these death threats, but thankfully, Reddit is doing their part, and so many others are too. They even revealed a starter pack for loot boxes priced at 25 bucks is already available on the store. People have also proposed the eerily realistic possibility that EA will use this to their advantage and say, because of low loot box sales, they'll revert back to season passes. Never underestimate how pitiful and sleazy EA will get with their products. They are the most anti-consumer company in America, and no amount of PR bullshit can save them. You should not forgive EA or DICE for being caught trying to manipulate you, for trying to shit in the urinal. You should not buy this game. I think this is a perfect summary of how simple this problem is, yet why EA refuses to fix it. The funny part is, if they removed microtransactions and cut the time in half, they'd be out of the woods. But they won't because of greed. The sad part is EA is just like Frieza. No matter how much leniency you give them, no matter how hard you want to make them good, to see the error of their ways, they will never change, and will deceive you to the very end. They have and always will be the worst company in America, and rightfully worthy of that title. But here's what I want to say to you guys, everyone watching this. It is essential for you, as a gamer, as a person passionate about this hobby, as someone who loves not only Star Wars but video games in general, to do something about this. What you should do is use this opportunity to send a message, not just to EA, but any other company intent on replicating this fecal matter. If you hate all this loot box crap, if you despise this micro gambling shit, if you're tired of your favorite games and franchises being ruined by these shady business practices, there is no better time to voice your opinion than right now. Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy.
But don't send death threats, cause, cause that's just stupid. Also don't kill younglings, that ain't cool either. But seriously, this is a huge scandal. We need to take advantage of this now. It's become the most downvoted post on Reddit for good reason. This is the most negative attention microtransactions and loot boxes have ever gotten since their widespread implementation. This is the push that has taken it too far. Now it's time to show them that. It's time to strike back. Because if Battlefront 2 has disappointing sales, if it fails hard, if this scandal follows them wherever they go, it will alter the course of the gaming industry and lead us to a brighter future. If it does well, then this will only get worse. Yeah! So tell me, when did you first start hating EA? And for what reason? Will you be posting your own videos, articles, or comments? Because you should. In fact, check me out on Twitter, where I'm very active in voicing my discontent for this crap. And subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Alright everyone, that's all I got for today. This is The Act Man, signing out. Peace!